hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop without any further ado let's get started then here i'm using 1080 by 1080 then you can use it to post on social media instagram and other social media so now I'm going to my test document to copy the color code I'm going to use in this tutorial. So over here is the color code Ctrl plus C to copy it. Then go to your solid color and the Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to my resource file. Then go to your resource file and I'm going to upload import this church logo over here. Then drag it and position it at the top over here. Then select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the font to impact. Then reduce the font size, drag it over here. Then go back to your text document and I'm going to copy this one over here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your text tool, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then select the test tool, then highlight this one and I'm going to change it to a small letter. Then go to your font and I'm going to change the font to this matchmaker. Then this is the color I'm going to use on this test here. Then after this one, I'm going to apply this text effect the distance the spread and the size so take note of this setting and my blending mode is multiply and the opacity is 100 percent then apply vertical alignment ctrl plus d to deselect then positions your test Then duplicate this one, highlight it, then, and I'm going to type this test over here. Then select your test tool, and over here, and I'm going to double click to open the smart object, then highlight it, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the fonts of this text here and the font I'm going to use in this text is going to be source serif so here is the font Now I'm going to reduce the character spacing to minus 80%. Then now close it and save it. So here is my test now and I'm going to turn off the background. Hold your Shift plus Ctrl plus Alt key plus E. Then you will create a new layer for the test. 
now drag it to your designing area reduce the font size then I'll position it this way click OK then you can increase it or decrease it the way you want it to be all right now I'm going to apply a drop shadow so then my distance is 5 the spread is 7 and the size is 7 then leave the setting like this and you click OK Now I'm going to copy then increase the test and over here I'm going to apply the gradient color so over here is the color now then ctrl plus v to paste it so then you can also revise this color you are seeing here is the same thing so you can see now you can revise it so it's the same thing so having done or apply the test uh, the color now so i'm going to apply a drop shadow Then my distance 5 then spread 7 and the size then is going to be 10 and the bloody mode multiply opacity 100% so now I'm going back then to copy communion then select your test tool and ctrl plus v to paste then i'm going to break it into two like this then increase the size and position it at the top here reduce it then close the space a little all right so the next thing now i'm going to apply this gradient color so what i will do now i'm going to revise the color this way then apply your drop shadow then click ok then over here i'm going to change this this um drop shadow of a uh, holy ear then the bloody mode i will change it to normal and the distance three the spread six and the size i'm going to change it to four all right so i'm going to leave it like this Then use your arrow key then to drag this one up. Now I'm going to draw a rent angle at the bottom here. Then apply red color. Hold your shift key. Then increase the size. then it's okay then go to your test documents and i'm going to copy the scripture here 
Ctrl plus C to copy, select your test tool and Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the font color to white. And I'm going to change the font to something more lighter than this. So I'm going to use Lato. Then you can use, make it bold. So the bold of this one is more lighter than the impact font. Then position it over here. Okay. So this one now, I have to group this one. Then I'll select this one, also group them. Okay. Then apply vertical alignment to centralize the test. Then I'm going to draw a cycle here. Hold your shift key to draw a perfect cycle. I will drag this one up so that I can be able to also then drag the cycle up a little to great space at the bottom. So okay like this. Then I'm going to change the color to red. Use your arrow key then to drag it up. Then this cycle EM, I'm going to duplicate it. Ctrl plus J to duplicate, then I will drag it and position it over here, then reduce the size, then take it up around here, you position it over here, select your test tool, And I'm going to type the letter here. This is off. Then change the font. So I'm going to use the font range. Then drag it over here and increase the size. Okay, so we are done with that one. Then we come back to our cycle. Then I'm going to duplicate it. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then position it this way. Then you can reduce the opacity.
So here I reduce the opacity to 46%. So any adjust, adjustment I'm going to make then that will come back. That will come later. Now I'm going to copy the date. So I change the font to impact, then you paste your test, then increase the font size. Then I'm going to import this icon for the dates and reduce the size so okay like this then I'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool and ctrl plus v to paste also change the font and I'm going to use the font Jacqueline here increase the size and change the font color to this color here that is yellow here and I will drag it to this position then take it above the test Then I'm going to reduce the size. All right, so like this. So the next thing I'm going to copy the months. Then you drag it and position it over here. Then duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. Then I'm going to turn this one off so that I'll be able to apply the test. Then highlight it. Then you import 2023. Now reduce the size to align with November okay so using your arrow key then to position position it so on this one I'm going to apply a stroke and the size is going to be eight percent So I want to increase the size of the test over there. Now we are going to apply our time now. So go to your test document and copy your test. Control plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. And control plus V to paste. Now increase the size of the font. Then duplicate it, control plus J, highlight it, go back to your test. And I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then 
then you reposition it around here okay so now you can apply any adjustment either to increase it or decrease it the way you want it so i hope you prefer this way then apply your icon reduce the size then also position it at the top here so on this one now i'm going to select it and uh, group it together also i'm going to apply the same thing to the dates now you can rename it your time and date So now we are going to the background to fix some things. Alright, so I'm going to import this one. Then you scale it out to fit in. Then go to your filter blur, question blur. Then I make use of this setting for 12.5 to blow it, then increase the size. Then change the bloody mode to screen. Then you will have something like this. Now I'm going to import this background over here. Then position it somewhere around here and I'm going to leave it around here Then you click OK then change the blurry mode to hard light now apply your layer mask select your gradient to or you press G using your keyboard and you blur the top and the bottom Then reduce the opacity to 29%. Then I'm going to import this image here. So this is the communion bread. Now you change the bloody mode to soft light. Apply your layer mask, select the gradient tool and blend over here. Then I will adjust the size of this one. It's too bold, so I'm going to reduce it. So now I'm going to import this brush, then click OK, then I change the blend mode to overlay, and you scale it, so then create a new layer. Select your brush, then I'm going to use watercolor brush. You can see so watercolor brush. Then I'm going to use this curl real watercolor. So though I have prepared it on the ground, 
there is one i'm going to use i have already prepared it so i'm going to show you how i made the one i'm going to use so something like this So this is the way I did it but this one is not that perfect like the one I have on the ground so then I'm going to delete this one after I show you how I did this one how I did it then I'm going to remove this one and uh, import the one I'm going to use so over here is the one I'm going to use now i'm going to delete this one then you delete it then go back to your resource file and i'm going to import this one so now you can import this one and make use of this one so if you see now you see that there is a differences between the first one and this one so on this cycle now, I'm going to take the opacity to 100% and reduce the fill color. So if you notice, the opacity before, it also affects the stroke line. So now that the opacity has go back to 100%, so the only thing now is the fill color. And the fill color will only affect the main color that is the inner color without affecting the stroke color now i'm going to draw a rectangle at the bottom here and i'm going to apply a red color So what I did is to use my arrow key then to move it up a little. Then I'm going to import this icon for the location. Reduce the size. Okay. Now go to your resource text. That is your text document and I'm going to copy your location. Then change the font color to black and also change the font to impact Ctrl plus V to paste. Then you can now reduce the font size. So then I'm going to drag it down and position it somewhere here. Then you scale it out to increase the font size. Then open the space a little. All right. Then I'm going to reduce the font size of this to one. So now I'm going to rename the test. So this is my main test. Then this one, I will reduce the size of the cycle and also the test then go back to this letter here I'm going to 
reduce the character spacing and increase the size I'm going to apply the same thing to the communion and the scripture I'm going to remove this cycle from that position okay so now this one are together now then I will increase the size then adjust it okay so the next thing to do now is to apply this light effect so after this light effect so we are done with the design so if you are not subscribed please subscribe like and share Also, if you want to optimize your YouTube channel or your social media, then there is a link I will provide in the descriptions. So you can use that link, which is TubeBody, then to create your account, then optimize your social media handles or your YouTube channel by using the TubeBody. Then if you want to order any of my graphic design, then I have a link provided in the descriptions then you can go to the Fiverr account to my Fiverr page then and make your order of any design you want me to design for you so thank you so much for following I really appreciate it. so now I'm doing the grouping and uh, renaming the test So now, so if there is any adjustment you want to do, then you can do adjustments. So for now, then we are done with the design. So don't forget to like, then share, and uh, turn on the notification bell so that you will not miss any of my video. Always zoom in and zoom out to see the outcome of your work. So that is all. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.